We're gonna see if we can't harvest this nut. Extreme style. Go to go to it like a hockey stick. Look at that duck, guys. Maybe. Oh. oh, he got it. He got it. That's a fatty. Oh, he's trying to bite me. Grab the back legs. Grab the back legs. In the bag. Put him on the ground. In the bag, y'all. Nice. Out bro. here harvesting Muscovy ducks. So, as you guys see right here, our boy Bryce came to us at the job. We seen this Muscovy duck. We are allowed to take them guys, so we just had to put them in the bag, teach them a fat lesson with this net. And stay tuned guys, because we're gonna be doing a catch, clean, and cook. Wow, look at that. about thing. these Muscovies and you know, permitting to get them. They're invasive, right? There's no permitting, There's, uh, they're just, they're pests. Uh, Florida statute law classifies them at the same uh, level as a rat. Okay. So uh, they defecate uh, sidewalks, they cause damage to uh, roofs uh, with nesting. And then just no natural predators, just like most of these. And not even the humans are coming out here getting them. No. So they're just untouched. Yep. So hopefully with this video, we can inspire you guys to go out there and make yourself your own Muscovy duck catch and cook recipe. All right, we're gonna have some fat breasts on this duck, y'all. Wrap it up in bacon and have us a delicious treat. He's trying to get me. Just hold him, just but hold I him. got him under control. Nice, 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 nice. Look at this guy. Wow. Right, guys, we're about to harvest this Muscovy duck. Yep. A lot of people like to, you know, boil the feathers off and cook it whole. But we're going after these succulent, beautiful, tasty breasts right here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, one of the best pieces of the duck, least gamey, most amount of meat, very tender, very flavorful, and of course, very easy to harvest. Yep. So we're gonna go ahead and see if we can extract going to start at the bottom right here you're going to feel where the breast starts and it almost feels like a spine line so i'm going to go right here just go on the skin and work my way up this line see right in there you got that spine line so we're going to go up it once we got the feathers separated we can stick our fingers in there and begin working our way along the spine. Nice duck meat. We know duck hunting is uh, very popular, guys. And for, for native ducks and certain ducks, you need the duck tag and uh, you need the stamps and you need all your regs up and stuff like that, licensings, permits. But since this is an invasive duck, there's no permit required or hunting season. You just have to humanely catch them as you guys seen, our boy Bryce definitely did with that net. He just ran right up on him and taught him a super fat one. Look at that. Beautiful meat. Off, get all the feathers. Much better. All right, so we just got this handy dandy quick disposable charcoal grill. Iguana man told me about this. I've never heard of it before, man. Um, so we're gonna light it and the coals light themselves. Like what's going on? No, no, there, no. Dude? So it's basically a grill ready to go. It's uh, disposable. It's uh, everything you need. You just need a lighter. It's got charcoal in there. It's got the grill. And uh, basically, as you see, ready to cook in 15 minutes. I really love these because they come in handy when you're out hunting, fishing, and you need to eat. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to eat garbage. You know what I'm saying? You want to eat what you catch. You, know, you gotta have a way to cook it so this is just a quick uh and convenient way to do that yeah and all your mess stays right here so you can easily throw it away it doesn't get in the environment that we love yep uh exactly. so let's go ahead and give this a light and oh yeah this is so amazing no dealing with coals lighting every individual coal pouring starter fluid yep. making a mess Got a little workstation, yep. and I'm good to go. Yep. When you're done with it all, clean up easy, bro. 
Just throw it away. Throw in the, throw in the garbage bag. After it's cool, obviously. All right, guys. Welcome to our gourmet kitchen show. We got some dry aged center cut bacon, cherry wood smoked. And we're about to wrap this duck, y'all. Uh, Iguana man, are you excited to taste this or what? Dude? Oh, absolutely, man. Two of my favorite things, yo. Duck, bacon. I mean, I'm, I'm ready, man. I'm hungry too, man. That bacon's gonna give a nice, juicy flavor. We've on done it, this dude. before on Iguana and it came out really well, but we've never done it on a Muscovy duck. And I figured, hey, you know, like, it, it, I think it's gonna be fire, man. It's gonna smack, man. That's my opinion. What about you, Ninja? <laughs> it's about to be fire. Fuego. It's wrapped in bacon. Anything wrapped in bacon. I think it's, it's going to be a classic bacon. premium entree. That's what I think, man. Bacon wrapped duck fillet. The duck is fresh, you know, harvested less than 24 hours ago. The bacon, look at that bacon right That's like some dry egg, hardwood smoked, cherry, I'm sorry, cherry wood smoked. Center cut organic. Cherry wood bacon. smoked. Look, certified gluten free, y'all. Yo, that is some organic stuff right there. Exactly, guys. So, you know, it's going to be great, guys. Look, it came from Jones. Dairy Farm, Fort Ackersley, Wisconsin. Product of the USA, guys. This ain't made in China stuff right here. Premium bacon, premium duck filet. Guys, you put one and one together, guys, it's gonna, it's gonna smack, guys. It's gonna smack. Thanks, Speaking of duck. Speaking of ducks, hold on. Hey, this one's good, man. I mean, shoot, might, Hey, if this might. one's good, <laughs> shoot, we might need to get some more. Exactly. All right, guys, look at this beautiful piece of meat right here organic bacon that we're going to wrap around this um the fat on this bacon is going to make up for the the lack of fat on the duck um making it you know keeping it juicy keeping it tender and um just giving it a nice cedar flavor so we're going to go ahead take this and wrap it all the way around boom take another piece smells so delicious dude cedar and wrap it around boom creating like a little duck burrito look at that delicious got the bacon we're gonna go ahead and put it right on the coals Now guys, comment down below if you would ever try anything like this. These ducks are out here, they're invasive, they're pooping everywhere, they're causing havoc. Um, they're almost getting hit in the streets. Uh, we need to do something about these, change the stigma on them and get more people out there trying the delicacy. In other countries, guys, this duck could go between 70 and $100, guys. So, you know, we're, we're able to have the blessed opportunity to come out here and harvest it ourselves. Man, you'd be a fool not to take advantage of that. Look at that, y'all. Now, apparently you can eat these medium, maybe even medium rare. So it's not gonna be too long before these are ready. And we'll see you guys at the taste test. Guys, so we're not too focused on the bacon. We don't care if it gets burnt. What it's doing is providing that protective fat layer for the duck. That's gonna keep it juicy. And it's not gonna get the duck burnt ultimately because it has this nice layer around it. Also, it's gonna be making a really nice flavor profile that burnt, crispy, charcoaly, mosquito bacon on that duck, guys. So I think, I think, it's, I think it's gonna be a home run. I think it's gonna be a home run. A little bit of beer for our beer battered duck. Oh yeah. Guys, nothing goes to waste out here in Miami. Run little guy, run. <laughs> Alright guys, so we got this invasive treat right here, guys. You heard cat uh was it Kenny the Trapper? Mm -hmm. Trapper Helm, guys. You guys heard Trapper Helm talk about how these guys are causing havoc down here in South Florida. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we bacon wrap this and we have this nice, beautiful, delicious piece of meat. Cool. Oh, yo, that's bro, respect. So as you can see, we got the viewers out here. They love what we're doing. Yo. He said, you know, 
Keep doing what you're doing. That's what he just told us. Shout out to all the viewers out there. He Love just told us, keep doing what you're doing, guys, because he knows that out here, these iguanas, these ducks, all these invasive species, they're causing havoc, y'all. The locals know, guys. The locals know everything, guys. That's perfect. We cooked, dude. Perfect. <laughs> we Look could that. not have asked for it better. That's what we were looking for. A nice medium piece of steak. Almost on the medium rare side, but that's what we want, guys. This duck is gonna be so delicious. The bacon did its job to say the least. Wow. Look at that guys. Look at look how that knife is just cutting through that duck, guys. Like a ten like a like a hot knife through butter, guys. It's just going right through that duck breast. Look at that. that goodness it's got a nice cool pink in the middle and you can eat duck medium medium rare but i would say this is a conservative medium right here right look at that y'all this is gonna be real good all right get in the get in the shot dude you guys ready no. to an awesome vacation yep hunting invasives Amazing content for you guys. Absolutely. Cheers. Shalom. Wow. That tastes like freaking steak. <laughs> Why does this taste like steak? I put the whole thing in my mouth. Delicious, dude. I take my glasses off for that one. All right, guys, we're gonna enjoy this meal. I'm gonna cut it up for you guys, and we're gonna check in at the end to give our final review. Right, guys, final review, Ninja. All right, so. Honest review. Um, It's a little chewy. Okay. You should expect that already, because it's not a usual meat that you eat every day. And it was a little bit of an older. It was a little bit of an older, but it tastes so good. Like, I'm still chewing and I'm not spitting it out of my mouth, so that tells you. And I'm a very biggy person, so. Taste-wise, it's a 10 out of 10. Uh, the bacon, really good. The duck meat, uh, it's got like that very nice, rich, minerally, like, flavor to it that you get from like high quality grass-fed beef, guys. Like fresh, you know, fresh beef, fresh deer, venison, wild game. They always have that same characteristic of that minerally that, that minerally taste, guys, that, that tastes really good. It's very savory. So the flavor, phenomenal. Um, I think how the, the duck breast was about probably about two inches thick, an inch and a half thick. And I think how we cooked it, it kind of made it tough because you got to think these duck breasts, unlike steak, there's no inner muscular fat to make it more tender or make it, you know. But um, I think if you were to butterfly it and make it a little bit thinner, maybe about an inch, quarter inch, half inch, uh, sections of it and you cook it, whew, it's gonna be tough to top, man. I don't see why people don't go out here and harvest these, especially people that don't have anything to eat. I don't know why people nice. that are homeless, they're walking the street, they're begging for food. They got all these ducks, all these iguanas. I mean, literally, for their picking, you know? They don't need a net. They can go out there and grab them with their hands, harvest the breasts, come out here and cook it themselves. There's no reason why people should be going hungry. And um, I want to challenge you guys to go out there. Inspire somebody that you know to go out there and try one of these ducks, guys. This is Outdoors Bryce. I hope you enjoyed today's show. We're going to finish up this duck. And I'll see you guys on the next one.